Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your bonus reading. It is full moon energy, so I wanted to tap in again, see what we have lingering in this moon energy, full moon energy. Um, I definitely want to make it a point to, you know, just ask spirit to check on what else is, you know, happening behind the scenes uh, that is outside of relationships, love ships, spiritual partnerships. Um, if that does come up, then that just means that's what the messages are supposed to be. Uh, but I am going to be very intentional in seeing what else uh, Scorpios have to look forward to, beloveds. I will, you all are feeling healthy, wealthy, mind, body, and soul. I will, everything is everything with you all because everything is everything with me on my side of the planet. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to the channel. If you are new, welcome, beloveds. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I thank you all so much for showing love, rotating the love. I've rotated right on back to you all. Infinitely, beloved. It never ends. Thank you to everyone who has liked my video, shared, has left beautiful comments, has just showed love by blessing your sister with with beautiful donations. I appreciate it all. I do not expect it, but I respect it, appreciate it, and I thank you so much. I will that every dime that you rotated and circulated to me, that it rotates right on back to you. I send it right back to sender. All of that love, all that beautiful energy, just the thoughtfulness, the kindness. I am truly, truly honored. I thank everyone that has booked a cardomancy consultation. I am truly honored to be entrusted to, you know, tap into your energy. Thank you so much to those of you who have already booked. Thank you to everyone who patronizes, you know, my Etsy shop, who leaves reviews, who genuinely appreciates, you know, the work that I do. You know, they leave beautiful comments of how amazing my products smell, how much power they felt, you know, uh, from my products. And I truly appreciate that because I put love in everything I do. I don't do anything half ass. I just, I can't, you know, I refuse. That is the right terminology with, with can't, I can't do that, that I can't do. Um, so everything I do is done with love. I put time, I put intention. Um, and it is because I really, truly want you all to feel the love uh, when you receive it, you know. Um, so I thank you all from the bottom of my heart chakra to yours. I truly appreciate you all. Truly thank you all. Um, and uh, if you are new here, welcome to the platform. Welcome to the Soul Tribe. My name is Q, as I've mentioned. I, too, am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am also clairaudient, uh, and I am an empath. So the way that things work here is I play music during the readings, and the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what comes out with the cards and it all just kind of blends very beautifully you know what i'm talking about it's just like magic and um so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading does not apply to you then check your other placements for your other uh messages for your other downloads um because you are more than just your sun sign you know so it will behoove you to check your other placements. See what's rocking in your moon sign. See what's popping in your in your rising. You know, see what's going on in Venus. If you want to know about love, like you know, just check your other placements. See, check your south node and your you know your north node. If you want to see what's going on karmically for you, but um, and also my readings are timeless. So whenever this video has found you, or whenever you have chosen to click play. On the reading, that was divine timing and divine order that you have done so, beloveds. So let's go ahead, proceed with the read. But before we do, let's do some house cleaning, now, Shay. Okay. 
I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for my beautiful Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Beautiful souls. So what time do we have on the Klizak? So it is 526. So that makes it 13. So I definitely feel like there was a major change that has occurred. This is a reoccurring message that we have had. I call spirit and I ask that you please provide additional messages outside of love for Scorpio spirit. It is done. It is so ashe. So major transformations, endings, perhaps there was some sort of death. I feel like there was a death perhaps um, that was very significant in your life. Maybe you've never lost someone as near and dear to you. And when this particular person, I'm getting a maternal figure, like a grandmother, uh, maybe this is a grandmother that raised you. Um, if it's not a grandmother, it's a maternal figure, like an elder, like an auntie, um, you know, or uh, some maternal energy. It could even be like an older sibling, sister, uh, even a cousin, you know, a female cousin. Um, a feminine energy is what I'm picking up on, but it could be different. Um, but for some of you, there's this energy, I feel, uh, where someone transitioned in the spirit realm. And maybe as of late, you've been seeing this particular person uh, visit you in your dream. Um, I'm strongly getting a sense that this is someone that could be sending you um, some sort of um, good news. Uh, maybe you're going to receive some news in regards to some money that you've been work waiting for. Uh, I strongly get a sense of like, um, there is something that's coming in, uh, that you're, you actually need. And it's coming from that energy, that feminine energy is sending you like some sort of wish fulfillment, or there's an answer to a prayer that you have been sending up. If this is not a, a, a direct ancestor from your own, uh, family tree, then this could be like a feminine deity goddess, uh, that you could be working with. Maybe you're working with the the energy, you know, the ancestor, the great Orisha Yemenya. Um, or you could be working with Mama Oya's energy. Uh, being Scorpio's, uh, Mama Oya is more uh, that maternal figure for Scorpios. Um, but I just get a sense of like there's some sort of blessing or some sort of reward. Um, the four deals with the heart chakra. And it's also indicative of the emperor in the, uh, you know, in regards to the tarot, that's the uh, emperor's number is that number four. So perhaps you all are working very steadfast towards some sort of business endeavor. Um, maybe you are in school right now so that you can learn how to run and operate a business. So whatever you're learning in school is the area you know, the line of business that you are going to be pursuing upon graduation. I feel there's this energy of learning. Um, whatever you're learning, your heart is open to it. You love it. It is, it, it makes you happy. Um, you, you, you can like time flies, uh, when you are engulfed in whatever this is. And it's like, it's because you love it so much that you don't even realize how much time has gone by. Um, and, and, you know, it's because of the passion, uh, that you feel that fulfillment, it fulfills you, you know, you feel really content, um, doing whatever this is. It's like you're stepping into your true purpose or your true power, uh, with that 13. I feel like this is, uh, the transition, um, you know, the, 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 the really the, the turning point. In, in your life. Like this is a pinnacle point as well. Um, but it's a turning point. Like there's, there's this, you know, this turn of events, um, and it's positive. It's bringing stability, uh, because that, that, that emperor is very powerful. He's a, a, a business mogul, a mastermind, 
Um, if you're feminine energy, that's that's the empress as well. Uh, that's the suit. Those are that's that divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Um, they know the divinity is creation, so they're always birthing new ideas. When they get a new idea, they on it. Um, because as long as you get an idea and it's just floating around, somebody else is going to snatch it. Uh, you can't send, you know, your thoughts and your intentions out into the ethers without expecting some sort of return. But if you just have a thought, just a lingering out there, trust me, somebody is going to snatch that and they're going to act on it. So it's like this energy of the emperor and the empress is really like you take action. You're very willful, very determined. Um, I just get a sense of stability, strength, uh, self-determination. I get a sense of self-awareness, uh, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing what you deserve. Um, and that's because this is what you have, you know, transformed into. Uh, so that death is like, there was the death of the old version of you and the emergence of you in your God frequency, uh, tapped into your Christ consciousness. Um, and it's because you healed from past pains, wounds, traumas, um, past hurts. And with your heart being healed uh, at a soul level and with you being able to take onus accountability for things that may have occurred in your past, things that you may have been responsible for. Um, and when you start taking that uh, accountability uh, for things that have occurred, uh, you heal, you know, and in healing, you learn to love and in loving, you learn to know, you know, you know, so you have a knowledge of self. Um, and that means ultimately that you have reached that level of self mastery. So that is a beautiful energy I'm picking up just from that number 13. Uh, we have Yuna uh, playing on the playlist, and this is called Live Your Life, you know. And so this is a dope song um, to just speaking to determination drive, um, not getting sidetracked by other people's opinions uh, or other people's attempts to belittle you or to distract you. This is about you living your life authentically, um, discovering who you are and living your truth, um, being self-disciplined, uh, and also, you know, loving thyself. You know, you've learned that love was an inside job and you had to heal from the inside and out. And, um, that took a lot of resilience. That took a lot of, of, of strength. Um, it absolutely, uh, proves that you've persevered through some things, especially with that 13, which is associated with death. So whoever that beloved is, that beloved ancestor, that beloved deity, that beloved angel, uh, whomever that maternal energy I was picking up on, even if it's a paternal energy, um, it could even be, um, you know, a masculine um, archangel. Uh, it could be Archangel Raphael. Um, you know, with that four, you know, that heart chakra, Archangel Raphael really helps with healing, um, you know, those past wounds and traumas really helps with, you know, bringing love back into the equation, uh, because there was a loss of love, um, and that loss of love, perhaps that ancestor or that loved one that transitioned into the spirit, spirit realm is really, you know, really significant at this time, really helping you to, um, you know, push past some of that pain. If you are uh, finding yourselves, um, you know, really picking up on the energy of an ancestor, um, give offerings to that ancestor. You know, you could burn ancestor money. You could light candles. Um, you could prepare their favorite mo meals. You could put their favorite snacks on your altars. Uh, you can absolutely write a petition, um, you know, but there are ways that you can honor your ancestors uh, and you could work with their energy because if they are stepping out, um, I do feel like that's them, you know, making the connection. And so you, you just have to meet them, um, you know, because there, there's definitely some downloads. I feel, um, with that number four, like I said, I just feel stability, security. I feel like you have established a solid foundation. So that's a beautiful feeling, especially after, um, some really dark periods. And now you're at this turning point. You're now at, you know, um, a very pinnacle, uh, place in your life. I feel, and I feel, you know, you are changing with the times because everything is changing, you know, as we know it. And, uh, with live your life by Yuna, I feel like that's what you're doing right now. Like you're absolutely, um, you know, you're living your truth. You're 
living in your authenticity. Uh, you're no longer hiding behind the guise of appeasing and pleasing and overcompensating and doing more and not get nothing in return. You know, you're no longer, uh, you know, uh, allowing people to take emotional withdrawals uh, and leaving you emotionally bankrupt. That those days are over. Those days are dead, stinking, and buried. It is a new you that has emerged, and you're very powerful in this new season. In this new, uh, you know, in this new chapter of your life, like you have taken on the power of that of that divine feminine or divine masculine, and it's only because you've done the work. You've reached the level of self mastery. So you have literally done all of that, um, you know, went through those growing pains, uh, and have emerged, uh, as someone very powerful, someone that's very regal, uh, you know, an earth angel, very wise, uh, very maternal or paternal, um, you know, just very strong, very powerful energy is what I'm picking up. So that's beautiful. Um, let's see what we got coming and going out going on. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that, a new beginning, brand new beginning. Every ending denotes a new beginning. We saw that 13, which was the death, and now we see the rebirth. So you you move in full steam ahead. Like this is really an energy of like, you know, a fresh start. You know, you have a new perspective. I feel like there's been a whole lot of healing. You feel very, very um, sturdy. You feel very firm. You know, like you standing firm, you standing erect, standing in your power. I feel like you're also manifesting a lot. You know, I see like you are uh, utilizing your skills, your talents, your abilities to manifest. You're being that alchemist. You're utilizing the elements around you. You're utilizing the moon energy around, you're utilizing the sun energy. You know, I'm talking about like you're connecting with your deities. You could be connecting, you know, with uh, a particular deity, as I said, and they're bringing some sort of blessing. With this one, I also feel there's you know, you're attracting a lot to you. You're, you're, you're coming off very attractive, you know, and this new beginning is like, this is the, uh, that, that pinnacle point that I was speaking of. This is, you know, that, that junction, you know, that, that turning point rather, you know, this is that, that energy of like something beautiful is coming in. And this is the overall energy, you know, this is a beautiful card to open up the reading a brand new beginning. This is beautiful, especially after, you know, going through a tough cycle or going through, you know, enormous change, going through transformations and shifts, you know, and things just, just really, um, turning around, you know, and with this one, that's the root chakra. So you definitely did a lot of internal work. You got to the root cause of whatever the issue was. And that's why you feel healed. I'm getting like the, you know, the one, um, the Ace of Cups, you know, that energy of the Ace of Cups, even from this is just healing that self. When you heal, you know, you know, when you heal, you love, then you know, you know, and that's what you did. That's how you're having this new beginning, because now you know what you like, you know who you are, you know your love language. You know what, what you desire, what you deserve, you know, your worth, you know, your value. That's what the self-discipline is all about. You know, this is like taking onus and accountability. You got to work on you because love is an inside job. And now you found your passion. You found your vigor. You found that fire, that spark. You found something that's really like, you know, motivating you to, 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 um, go and go after it. And we got Guapoli and this is called Closer. And it's, um, what is that? Uh, uh, five, five, five on the clock. Look at that. So you got something coming in that's closer. I feel like your victory is, um, you know, is closer than you can imagine because that 15 is giving me the six, you know, that 15 breaks down to six, which is like the six of wands. I'm seeing that six of wands. And I feel like a move has brought about, um, this change, you know, it's brought about this, this new you, you know? It's brought about also this, this, um, this need to work on the self because it may have, um, really exposed a lot, you know, being away from everything and, and all you have is yourself to reflect on, or, you know, you, all you have is time to reflect and time to, to, to do that, you know, those internal self audits. It's like, and this is how you, you begin the healing process because that's when the taking onus comes into play. Like we saw with that four, you know, the reading opened up at four. And so, you know, this is that energy where there's really this strong, um, strong, 
uh, energy of like, you know, you're manifesting something new because this was also dealing with the magician in traditional tarot, the one. So you, you are, you know, alchemizing some things out here. Like you, you out here setting intention, you manifesting, you visualizing, you know, you co-creating with source, you're calling in what you desire. And I feel like it's going to materialize and manifest perhaps, you know, with this full moon energy, it's going to bring it in quick. You know, we got surrender on the bottom of the deck. So this is what you are attracting to you. So fit, spirit is pretty much saying be receptive, be open, even open minded, you know, perhaps after an ending, after a death, after some sort of transition. It's like maybe now you're a little more guarded or you're a little more reserved or, you know, and spirit is just saying, like, open up, keep the same energy like, you know. Push forward confidently. Don't don't clam up. You know, don't clam up. Perhaps what you are coming in, um, this is someone or something that could be uh, coming in to apologize. And that's why Spirit, you know, was, um, you know, had, um, what was that song? Um, it had, um, dang, what was that song? Oh, man. I can't even remember. But, you know, it was literally just saying, like, uh, be more receptive, you know, be more open, be more forgiving. Um, you know, don't, don't be judgy. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So what is this that's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios? We have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And so we got slum village and this is called fall in love. I can't make this up y'all. We just saw this card fall out for the, the former reading. This is your bonus and the same card. And y'all heard me ask spirit not to send a message, <laughs> you know, pertaining love and to focus on other energy. And then we got Slum Village singing, don't fall, uh, uh, the fall in love with the things you do. And so pride. So someone's definitely, uh, they've fallen. All right. This is, um, pretty much 10, um, with this 10, I definitely feel someone's having an ego, ego death, you know, um, someone was stubborn. Someone was refusing to fall in love. Um, this literally is like purple and orange, and then it's, uh, you know, purple and red, um, in this card, you know, in the, you know, the, uh, symbols here. And, um, with that red, I feel like there was definitely some, you know, some healing that needed to be done perhaps. Someone was going through some, you know, traumatic events, you know, maybe they've learned some things, uh, you know, in terms of their emotional, um, language, you know, the way that they communicated emotionally or their emotional intelligence, rather, um, they, they learned some things during their formative years that just wasn't conducive to you all connecting. Um, but I feel there's this realization and discovery, um, you know, that someone loves you, especially with slum village, this person could feel like they're in the slums. That's why I was picking up an apology. Perhaps that could have been coming in or someone desiring to extend some sort of olive branch. Oh, that's what it was. Thank you spirit for bringing it back. We had family feud. So there could have been some sort of dispute with someone that wants to come back. You know, someone loves you, you know, even if this isn't a lover per se, that's returning, this could just simply just be, you know, someone that loves you like a friend that you felt was like, you know, sister, a brother, you know, a family member, um, with the spiritual partnership spirit is basically saying that there are some very strong, very powerful connections. Um, this is like your bloodline, your real official bloodline, like your soul tribe, your soul family, um, that's coming through. Um, whoever this person is, this is somebody that's meant to be in your life. But I feel like, you know, perhaps there was some sort of ego, you know, somebody was ego tripping, somebody was definitely stubborn. Um, you know, and I was picking up on that, that stubbornness, uh, but somebody could have been very stubborn in the past. And I feel like with this, um, fall in lo love song, um, this person is in the slums right now, like emotionally, you know, they could be having a lot of regrets. They could be looking at things, um, from a completely different lens now, uh, because this is all about, like I said, karma, um, and Mercury retrograde is on 421. Uh, so it's the day after Bob Marley's, um, solar return. And so, you know, Mercury retrograde tends to bring a lot of past energy or a lot of things that we thought we've already resolved. It may come back to surface. So that was, you know, one of the things I was picking up on, especially with that song by uh, Jay-Z, um, 
you know, um, nobody wins when the family feuds because I felt like you created distance and space from someone because there could have been some sort of dispute or some sort of hostility or maybe you discovered that someone was deceptive. Um, but there was a, a, a level of betrayal that you weren't willing to um, put up with. And so I do feel like you may have cut someone off. That ego death caught someone um, sleeping on you. You know, not only did it catch them sleeping, but it also uh, revealed, you know, something, you know, that they felt, which was, I feel, remorse, which was um, just how, you know, powerful the connection between perhaps the two of you are. As I said, it doesn't have to be love, um, but I strongly get love because we saw that same spiritual partnership card, you know, fall out for your person in the former reading. I can't make it up. And y'all saw it jump out. So it chose itself. And I literally asked spirit not to um, emphasize love so much in the reading, but let's focus on, you know, what other energy. So I guess this is the only energy Scorpios have lingering, but we have this 44. And so double numbers always alludes to the fact that someone's matching your fly and your vibration. And we did see four when we opened up the reading with that, um, with that 13, which reduces to four. So this four and then that album cover for Jay-Z was four, four, four. So I do feel this is a sacred union. With this being a solid green card, I absolutely feel like you and your person are mirroring one another. Uh, you know, whoever this is, um, is mirroring you because your heart chakra has been healed. It's opened. I feel that the whatever death of this ego is opening someone else's heart chakra as well. Um, and this could be someone that um, either may deem you as a, you know, a wish fulfillment, a star, uh, someone radiant, someone very beautiful, someone very illuminating, someone very wise, someone very intelligent, someone very devoted, uh, someone very intentional, someone who has healed themselves, loved themselves, and now know thyself. Um, this is someone that admires you from a distance, but this is also someone that wants to build and grow and cultivate a connection. Um, this could also speak to you receiving some sort of wish fulfillment, receiving some sort of answered prayer, because I was feeling like your angels were bringing you, um, you know, a beautiful blessing. Uh, there is a miracle or some sort of reward uh, that they feel you're just due. You know, this is like just due for you. Um, they also are admiring your strength. Uh, because this is someone that knows the transformation that you had to go through or knows what you personally endured, um, you know, with that death. Uh, they know the trauma. They know it all too well. Perhaps they too have experienced it for themselves. Um, they may have lost a loved one or they may have also gone through something that was very traumatic with their family or with their friends, their friend group. Um, and so similar uh, lessons um, similarities, familiarities. This is someone that sees uh, that the two of you mirror one another. This is someone that sees you perhaps as a like mind, sees the connection um, as something more, more, you know, something deeper than perhaps maybe just friends. You know, maybe this is someone that will come through um, as a business partner and it will develop into love. It could, you know, evolve um, into something very um, special. Uh, but someone is having some sort of you know, ego death. I feel like they're checking themselves. Um, so we got one and this is one, two. So with two, I'm getting the two of cups. I also feel this person is choosing you. So they're making a decision to come your way, perhaps to extend an apology or perhaps to just confess or profess how much they love you. Cause I get the two of cups. So, you know, this is someone that feels like you pour into their cup they pour into yours, but they see that you've done your work. They see that you've done your due diligence to, um, to heal, to grow, um, to mature, to come into the spiritual alignment, to be balanced. Um, they feel like you balance them. Like you bring a lot of, um, you know, just this, this energy of nurturing and loving and kindness, um, to the equation you know, and so this is someone that can really see themselves um, offering you their cup of love. They see an equal that when they see you, they see you as a suit, as that divine feminine or that divine masculine, um, someone that matches their fly, someone that's on their frequency, that speaks their love language. I also get a sense that there was some level of confusion uh, in the past, but with this ego death, um, they have clarity now. 
is that 19 reduces to 10, which is the end. It's the end of the ego. It's the end of the, you know, the gaslighting and the self-sabotage and the self-deception. Um, it's the end of that because someone is finally awakening uh, to the truth of what this connection is. This also is, you know, just you perhaps awakening to uh, your true purpose and passion and power and not allowing yourself um, to, you know, listen to that lack uh, you know, mentality or, or speak in a spirit of lack or tell yourself, um, what you can't do or live in fear. Um, as Guapoli said, something is coming closer and I feel like it's coming closer because you continue to set the intention. You continue to put intention into it and to speak it into existence. And so whatever this is, it's manifesting and materializing in some sort of profound partnership, uh, some profound alliance that you will be building with someone. Um, we have Saving My Way, and this is by Black Party. Um, oh, Swang My Way. I said Saving My Way. Lord, I might need to go get my glasses. So we got this 44, like I said, seeing you as a wish fulfillment, but with Swang My Way, I definitely feel like this is someone that does want to, you know, come in your direction. Um, this is someone who's choosing to come in your direction, especially with this two that we have here. Uh, two is giving me the two of wands. So someone who is and has already made a decision. So if they were stuck at a fork in the road, if there was any type of confusion, they have now uh, they have now found the clarity that they were seeking. And that's why now they're taking action to come towards you. So that fork in the road is now it's leading to their destination. They've discovered what that is and they're going straight towards you to heal a situation, you know, to rectify a wrong, to apologize, you know, and even to profess and confess their love. Because that for that heart shock where someone realizes they love you, realizes their heart is open for you and realize this is real love. Like this is all green. They feel like this is solid. They want to be your support system. They want to commit. They want to settle down. They want to build that house, that nucleus. They want to establish some sort of alliance. They want to build that sense of cohesiveness with you. And with that, um, we got, um, you know, with that, um, with that energy, what was that song? I'm sorry, with Swang My Way, pardon me. Um, I just get a sense of like, this person's really, really uh, going to express something um, that they may have been hiding for a while because eight and two is one, you know? So they are very, very um, much attracted to you. I feel like they are very attracted to you, um, but I also get a sense that they are very serious when they say they want this new start. So someone's coming in uh, because they too want a new start. They too want um, to, you know, establish some sort of uh, alliance, um, you know, perhaps build this, this, this connection, uh, to, you know, the build the rebuild the friendship uh, so that you can be in a connection. Uh, but this also could be alluding to the fact that you may have some uh, business partnerships uh, that are going to be very, um, very special because it's going to bring in a lot of abundance. I see, I see, uh, opulence. I see expansion. I see, uh, you know, your business is thriving. Things are blooming and blossoming for you. I see material prosperity, you know, and I feel you're very elated. You know, you feel very fulfilled financially, fulfilled emotionally. So how does this person or how, what is, uh, you know, this, that Scorpios are attracting. How do they feel about our beautiful Scorpios? Who or what, how do they feel about our beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. All right, so let's tap in. We got manifestation. So they see you as very powerful, an alchemist. They see you as someone that knows how to manifest your desired outcomes into reality. This is also um, how they see you with this 32.5. So they see you as someone that is... Um, Maybe you are very uh, talented musically. Maybe, uh, you know, that you may share the same interest of music with this person. Maybe this person hears certain songs that reminds them of you, makes them think of you. Uh, maybe someone wants to, um, you know, communicate with you. Uh, and maybe a song is giving them that grand epiphany. Or maybe that's what has exposed someone um, to perhaps their true feeling. Uh, we also have nine completion. So they see that you've wrapped up a cycle which is evident because you have this new beginning here. And that's why they're trying to align themselves with you, match your fly, your vibration. They're doing their due diligence to have that death 
of that, you know, that ego, you know, and, and they're, you know, coming more into this vibration of who you are, what you represent. And we got spirituality here. So this person absolutely sees you as their spiritual partner. They see that you are on their frequency. That's why they are getting on, you know, getting on, um, you know, the right wavelength, you know, they're, they're, they're tapping into, uh, you know, your, your channel, you know, they, 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 they're tapping into your channel because they realize what you are, um, vibrating on, you know, so they're matching your vibration. That's why they said, look, I gotta, I gotta kill this ego because that's, that's not resonating with Scorpio. Scorpio is flying and they're going to leave my ass behind. So that's why they're coming in with the spirituality because now they're connecting to their spiritual self. Now they're building a relationship with their spiritual self or they're tapping into uh, their higher self. They could be communicating with their angels, ancestors, deities. There's also a very strong um, indication that this is a sacred connection um, that your, your angels, ancestors, deities are conspiring behind the scenes. So whomever you pray to, whether that's Archangel Raphael, Archangel Mikael, whether it's Baba Ogun, Baba Obatala, Baba Alegua, Mama Yemenya, whether it's M Mary Magdalene, Mama Lakshmi, Mama Ma'at, whomever is like, they are bringing this into fruition because this one and this five reduces to six. So this is someone returning. This is how they feel about you. They want to return to you, you know, and that's why that one is there because they want a fresh start. That's why I was picking up an olive branch because there were some things they did in the past with pride here. Somebody was a stubborn ass. They was hard headed. They didn't do what they felt emotionally. They did what their brain told them to do. And so that caused a lot of confusion in this connection. But there is a very sacred connection, especially with these cards popping up out of the deck together yet again with spiritual partnerships and spirituality. They're matching your flying vibration. You're speaking to this person, seeing this person in your dreams. They're visiting you in yours. They're thinking about you constantly and they're going to call you because five and five reduces to one. They're going to take action. They have a hard on for you. They have a hard on for this connection. You know, they hot and bothered for this connection. They are very attracted to you. There's something about your energy that is very mesmerizing and they're manifesting the hell out of you because like I said, that one is the magician. They're matching your vibration because you too are an alchemist. They see you as very spiritual, but remember they too are also spiritual. So you are coming into a very sacred spiritual connection, which means if it's a sacred and spiritual connection, this is something your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, they are conspiring behind the scene to bring you into alignment with this. That's, there's no, there's no denying it. And then we have the swing my way that just went off when I said that. So this person is definitely going to come towards you. They're going to take action. That one that this reduces to is the one them taking action. This is also the one, the wand, one wand. They are manifesting. They are scrying. They're using that wand as an instrument to manifest as above, so below, as within, so without. So they're, they're matching your God frequency because that's what you've tapped into. That's what your transformation, like I said, has led to you owning your power. And this person, if they are watching you, which I feel they are, they're seeing that they got to match your fly and vibration. They got to be on your wavelength in order for you to give them the time of day, or they're going to get left behind. So this person is going to communicate. There's going to be a message. Trust me when I tell you, and maybe you manifested all of this because with this eight manifestation, I strongly feel like a lot of you all, you just really mastered your craft. You really been honing your skills. You started to tap into your divinity. You started to realize who you were. You realized you were the, the master manifestors, that you were the alchemist, that you were the ones that could set the intention. You could have been doing visualization tactics. You could have been scrying. You could have been writing in your journals, whatever it is, whatever you've been calling in, it's here. And as I said, it very well may come during this Mercury retrograde, during this, you know, full moon energy, this could be something that's manifesting because that full moon is about manifesting, birthing new things, new life, new ideas. But this is going to bring a lot of satisfaction. I also feel this is like the karmic debt that has been paid off. So now you can, you can, you know, you could reap what you sow now. 
you're sowing in good faith, you're planting in very healthy, you know, uh, uh, soil, you know, and, and now there's this, this renewal, that regeneration, as I, I've mentioned, you know, they say when, you know, when the, the earth is scorched, it becomes even more, uh, powerful. It's more pure, you know, because it, it, it really, it recharges or regenerates, um, you know, the life beneath it, the soil underneath it. So it's really powerful. This energy that I'm picking up with you all, this is beautiful. And we have you two pride. So what's hidden in the energy, that person that's struggling with their pride. So we got you two. So spirit could be saying that you too was proud, you know, and you too had an ego death. But with this pride that's playing with you too, I feel like this person definitely, um, you know, that you are attracting or whatever you're attracting, that person is really dealing with their, um, you know, dealing with their issues, you know, with their, uh, with their pride, you know, with their ego, you know, they're, they're really checking it. I feel like they're, they're checking it. They're checking it. And with this manifestation, it could be because you're calling in your love. So they're preparing themselves for you, getting themselves together for you, dusting themselves off for you. You know what I'm talking about? So divine spirit of peace, love, and light. Thank you. I can't make this up. I cannot. This is what's hidden in the energy, this 10 karmic cycle, and it's upside down. Perhaps if I turn it around, it'll be better for you. So this 10, like I said, they dusting themselves off. This is the same 10. Remember, you two pride is playing. Pride. So that person that's having the ego death, this is what's leading to the completion of a karmic cycle. So they are now seeing things very clearly. That gloomy, dark energy is going to whoosh up out of here. Because they're doing their internal work. They're doing what's required in order to have a fresh start. In order to be able to approach you, you got to come back different. Scorpio's not putting up with any old energy, especially if they on the same ish they was on when they left your ass in the past five years ago. And you coming back on the same type of time. They, uh, boop, leave a message. You know what I'm talking about? Like it is done, done, fin out here. So this completion is showing the work that somebody's been doing. Because now the cycle has wrapped up. Now there's a full circle. It's the circle is complete. So something has come full circle. I feel this, what's coming full circle is this opportunity reappearing, you know, because we got one, 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 and one, one, one is three. So someone's planning, preparing, strategizing to ready, set, go towards you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm getting like the three of wands. So they kind of came out of this, you know, you know, um, preparation stage or just observing or choosing, you know, this, this, this energy with this one and this one here for what's in the energy, the one and the 19, that's one. So that's the energy of the two, the decision-making, trying to choose between left or right, trying to choose before between good or bad, or, you know, talking about like, her or him, like whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? This is the choice. So they get to the point where, okay, they made the choice, the decision. And now there's this, okay, I got to start planning and preparing some action. And pardon me, this is actually four. So this is the same uh, four that we saw in the beginning of the reading. Because that, that number reduced to 13. So that same person is going through a karmic death because we got one, one, and then what's how they feel about you reduced to one because we got five and five and nine. So that's one. Then we got this 10. These are all ones. So this is like, this is absolutely some, every ending denotes a new beginning. So that person, even you, if this is your energy, if this is all your energy, this is what you're doing now. You're now wrapping up this cycle. You're now going to have this new start. But I also feel like there's someone coming in because they absolutely have realized that you are their starship, you are their stability, you are their happy place, you are their, their foundation, you are like home, you are like hearth, the, like you are love, you know? And this is something that they are now, like, it's like, because they've had this epiphany. It's like, they can see things clearly. This could be that person that was manifesting this because this is still a one. So what's hidden is somebody is really, you know, manifesting change in their lives and they're seeing the results. They're really serious about manifesting some sort of change. And so we have right now, um, who is this? Oh, it's Tosh Sultana. And this is called Jungle. 
So this person is definitely going through some things, but with that jungle, I feel like things just grew out of control, you know, because remember that green card 44, that's what the, you know, I immediately heard when I heard jungle. And so I was feeling, I'm feeling like, you know, with that energy, the jungle, it's like, it just shows all the growing and all the healing that needed to be done. It's like, it's like you, you have to pull the weed. So, you know, it doesn't like suffocate the flowers, suffocate, you know, the, the plant life, you know? So it's like, I feel like that was the work somebody had to do, you know? And, and, and they was really, um, confused and conflicted about a lot of things because this gray card is just showing like in the dark, you know, I'm just feeling like somebody was in the dark. Somebody was like literally struggling with depression. There was a lot of mental conflict even, but gaslighting. Oh my God. Somebody was being gaslit. Someone was being manipulated. But now there's, there's this, there's like this, um, this new beginning. It's like something's done and, and look at all the stress and agony and the, and, and the frustration that 71 always makes me feel like the eight of swords. It's all self-imposed. You know, when you are an egomaniac, um, you don't realize you cause more damage than you do good, you know, because you're not, um, you're not cognizant of how you're coming off. You're not even cognizant of how other people may feel, you know, and just for the sake of being right, you know, you, you're willing to, you know, dismiss other people's, uh, you know, other people's, other people's feelings or other people's input. So someone's definitely, you know, the outcome with this eight of swords you know, I, I'm, I'm strongly getting like, you know, there's, there's definitely a lot of monkey mind going on with that jungle. You know, I'm, 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 I'm hearing, you know, jungles, <laughs> I'm hearing monkeys in the jungle. Like, you know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just hearing monkey mind. You don't know, talk about the eight of swords is literally that, you know, and then I'm hearing that song. Who is that? Welcome to the jungle. You got the, uh, uh, uh. That was also in um, Lean On Me. So somebody could be from New, Jer um, New Jersey, New Jerusalem, you know, because that's the second reference. That song, uh, you know, um, that movie rather was uh, based off of a school in Jersey. It was it was filmed in Jersey. But um, there's definitely a lot of monkey mind going on. But I do feel because the end of the cycle, you know, is here. I feel like they will clear this up, you know. But this is a part of karma, you know, someone's definitely uh, was going through some some karmic lessons here. It's just confirmation. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection. We get a message for the outcome for Scorpios. Wow, that did a double, triple somersault. And this eight is on the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of a lot of stressing. We can't get up in our head because that's the devil's playground. But we do have 22 intuition. So follow your intuition, beloveds. That's what spirit is telling you to do. Just trust your intuition. But there goes another two, double numbers rather. And so that is just letting you know, like, you know, with that, what's hidden energy, the high priestess energy is the two, you know, but that also is giving me a sense of like, you know, you and whoever you're attracting, you both are picking up um, the energy, you know, even if this is, like I said, a business partner, you know, even if this is your soul tribe, even if this is loved ones, family members, when you reconnect with these individuals, you're going to realize you all are on the same frequency and vibration because there's been some sort of death. And this has been a death of an old way of thinking, old concepts, old ideologies, old behaviors, habits, and just mindsets. It's, it's, it's a renewal. So this is giving you a fresh start. And with jungle here, I'm just getting a strong feeling. And this is called, um, I'm getting a strong feeling like you're, you're just trust, you know, the nudges, you know, that you may feel, um, trust your intuition, beloveds, because I feel like, um, there's something coming in and this all reduces to seven. So someone's definitely coming in. Cause I'm getting like the chariot. I'm hearing the chariot and I'm hearing horses just, yee, and I'm hearing the, the, you know, the, like I'm literally hearing that loud in my mind's eyes. Sometimes this stuff be like, it's hilarious how I'll be hearing this stuff, but it's like, you know, I, with all of this, like I said, this is three, this reduced, no, it doesn't reduce to three. It reduces to four. So you got four, four. So that's 44 yet again. That's crazy. One, two, three, four, 
and then four. So 44, four is the vibration of 1111, twin flame energy. Four is also the vibration of that divine masculine, the emperor. If you've been working on something, perhaps you felt like there was delays, blockages. You know, if you're working on music, remember I was building on music, please be mindful of your gifts because with both karmic completion and completion coming out, like I said, you're mirroring something you know, and something's mirroring you. It's been mirroring all throughout the reading, but you have to be, um, cognizant of the music, you know, that you are, um, producing, that you are creating because spirit is saying you have a voice, you have something to say. So say it, don't try to make music to compete with what's out there. Bring people up to your level. Don't stoop to theirs you know, redefine what music is, what hip hop is, what classical music sounds like, what soul music sounds like, if that's what you're doing, you know, but I just feel like spirit is saying it's time to raise the vibration, you know, and this five is also dealing with the hierophant. So it's like whatever you've been learning, incorporate that in your craft, you know, speak about the things you've gone through so that you can help awaken others. That's truly what spirit desires is like, you, you got to be on a completely different level out here. You know, uh, if you're grown, you shouldn't be sounding like these young school artists. Like you, you got to always be leveled up. Like, like I said, the, the majority of the information we're all accessing is from people from 50, 60, 70 years ago. You know, we got to recreate new thinkers. We have to birth new thinkers, you know, and, and, and bring in new, new, um, channels of information. But I strongly feel with this intuition card, you may just strongly sense something's coming, something's a brewing, change is abound. But with four, four, and the reading opened up with four, you know, there's definitely spiritual, angelic presence as well, because that four, four is definitely that energy of your ancestors and your angels that are really behind the scenes. And really giving you the support you need, really pushing you through, really blessing you with this wish fulfillment. Because I'm getting a wish fulfillment. I'm getting that, you know, you could sense it, feel it, taste it, touch it. There's also a sense of like you being in harmony and whatever you're attracting is also going to bring you into harmony. Someone's definitely communicating with you though. And, and you know, they are stressing and agonizing. That came out in a formal reason. So I don't know who this is that's really obsessively thinking of you. But there's a change, you know, I just said a change is a brewing, something's absolutely transforming. So that's powerful. So let's tap in. We got radiant um, children. So there's, there's going to be some radiance, you know, there's going to be some, some uh, beautiful, I just feel like, you know, just that, that happiness, that joy. Let's pull some messages from energy Oracle first, and then um, I may pull from Moonology. But we shall see. Now, Shay. So let's tap in. What do we got on the Clizox? Oh, an hour. It's been an hour already. So look at who we have. My beautiful Baba O oh, Baba um Archangel Meek I L. Look at that beautiful, powerful energy. I love this energy coming out for you all, beloveds, because this is like I said, I feel like this is a sacred connection, a sacred union. And so I felt like your angels, your ancestors, I was speaking to Archangel Raphael, uh, perhaps overseeing this Archangel Mikael, I believe. Um, I did call on Archangel, you know, um, Baba Ogun even, you know, so this is showing why I was picking up on this energy is because this is a very sacred connection. It's a spiritual one. Um, there's no confusion or denying that, especially with both of these cards popping out, even if this is a business partnership. Whoever you are bumping into, this is someone that is going to be very supportive. I feel the two of you, the, 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 um, it's like still sharpening steel. It's like their ideas, your idea, ideas are going to like, it's going to catapult you into great success, great abundance. And this all reduces to eight. So this is Archangel Mikael bringing in this abundance. Cause remember you got one, two, three, four, four and 22 is four. That's eight. So Archangel Mikael is watching over y'all beloveds pay homage. You got to give thanks. I feel like, you know, if some of you all are doing Archangel Mikael, um, 
you know, rituals, the nine week ritual that I had mentioned um, on Tuesdays. Trust me, he's going to work a miracle out in your life. He's the one bringing the blessing. He's the one bringing the miracle. This is powerful. Archangel Mikael is blessing you all and protecting you. You are protected. If you have a business, it's going to flourish. Whatever you sent up with prayers, petitions, you've been remaining hopeful. Something is coming through. There's a breakthrough. There's some answers. I feel like y'all have been through some seasons of like loss. You know, you've been going through a lot of seasons of change, you know, and now it's going to be your season of harvest. You're going to receive carnucopia. You're going to be able to live very comfortably because we have future islands and this is called seasons. So some of you all have been waiting on this miracle, waiting on this blessing. See that he's cutting you free from karmic cords, yoke spells, hexes. This is what you all have been doing, you know, in the past. This is that energy of karmic completions, cutting yourself free from the things that bind you, hold you back. But the, the, the self-work, you see how she's looking at the mask like, wait, hold up. I'm not being my authentic self. She's going to soon discover that she's trapped, that she's bolted down. Archangel Mikael got the sword, though. That sword is going to break free the chains that bind this person. Archangel Mikael is not a fan of his beloveds, you know, being manipulated, being, you know, psychically attacked, emotionally attacked, being, you know, having voodoo juju hoodoo on them. So, you can see here the five. This is someone praying, even in their darkest times, darkest moments, praying, calling, asking for help. Archangel Mikael was there. Archangel Mikael has been there, has always been there. Maybe some of you all feel a very strong connection to Archangel Mikael, and that's because he is your spiritual father. So a bunch of cards just fooled down. I'm not going to, I'm going to give my cards a bang, bang, boogie, because somebody doesn't want, and I just saw the hostilities card. I just saw that hostilities card. Yeah, there's definitely somebody trying to keep you bound and stuck. Bang, bang, boogie. Bang, bang, boogie. Thank you, spirit. So let's tap in again. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for their bonus reading? I just saw a happy house, beloveds. I saw door to personal healing and happiness and this happy family. And that's that four. And that's that 34 and seven and four. That's 11. That's their twin flame. That's somebody coming in for you. I asked y'all heard me ask spirit to say, yo, I was like, look, can you give me a message other than love? And we can't get away from this message. Even if this is just, uh, um, you know, a more loving, um, solid, real, genuine connection. As I said, a spiritual partnership the people that are coming into your life are going to be very solid. They're going to feel like family. You know, I also feel because you are on this, you know, in the spiritual energy, um, you're only going to attract what you are. You know, when you're vibing high, you're going to start seeing yourself like form like Voltron out here. You know, it's literally going to be like that type of energy. So let's tap in to the energy, beloved spirit. What messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? For their bonus message, spirit. All right. They said I can cut ZX. So let's tap in, spirit. Let me see what I got coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. What's coming and going out, going on with Scorpio's energy? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection. Bottom of the deck, we have walking away. So walking away from the devil. Look at that. He's hiding right underneath that. And this devil been following your ass for about full five readings. No cap. You know what I'm talking about? Like this has been following you. But you know what I'm talking You You realize that. That's why you're walking away. That's why you're moving away. You're walking away. This person has had you bound. You was trapped. This is entrapment. Manipulation. That's their tactic. You could have walked away from relationships. That was very toxic. You, 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 you braved your life. See that strength behind it? And your angels, we just saw Archangel Mikael. So he's the one that blessed you with, you know, that divine intervention, that moment. He intervened and showed you what you needed to see, which was those people you rocking with, they're not your folk. That's self-deception. That's people that will betray you, backstab you, lie. I'm getting the seven of swords. This devil is a mastermind at manipulating. 
This is someone that is very calculating, very cunning. This is someone that speaks with a forked tongue. This is that energy. And that's what you could have been dealing with. But you walk away from that energy. What you have here with this 19, someone realized this is the vibration. That's why you walked away. Someone found God. I just heard someone them found Jesus because they went from being an egomaniac or proud, you know, to, to being spiritual. And, and it's because, you know, perhaps that, that reflection in the mirror scared the hell out of them because they realized like, wait, hold up. Who is this? This isn't me. This isn't how I want to perceive myself. Maybe that was them taking that mask off their face with the attachment. Maybe that was spirit, you know, Archangel Mikael stepping in, intervening to awaken this person to get out of their, their ego, whoever that may be, even if that's you, you know, but this energy, you know, you're always going to, you know, if there's work to do, like I said, the more you shine, the more you cast shadows. So it's like, maybe the more you awaken, you know, maybe you started to rediscover new things you needed to work on new, um, you know, um, areas you needed to heal. But this devil has been watching, has been stalking, this could potentially be what this person was dealing with. You know, that was the, the, the inner work they had to do. And we have, um, Jay-Z bam. So yeah, that somebody just had like a grand epiphany. I feel like bam, something just, you know, bam, it just finally hit them. And that's the devil. And like I said, the devil is the, you know, the, the, um, mind is the devil's playground. You know, so someone could have really been up in their head a lot, really kind of like just, you know, gaslighting themselves also, you know, lying to themselves, you know, you're no more important than the next person. So who are you? You're like, your, your word you're, isn't Jesus is where, you know, it's not God. Like, you know, so, well, like you, your word doesn't matter more than someone else. So that could be what caused distance, you know, what led to you walking away and creating space, you know getting away from some toxic energy, but let's tap in. So why is this 19 pride and 27 spiritual partnership here for what Scorpio is attracting to them? They have a message of peace, power, and protect. Okay. Look at that. I was trying to shuffle them. So they said, no, these are your messages. They stopped me mid shuffle. It's just like, I was just like, uh, and they was like, here's your messages. So we have on the bottom of the deck attachment. Didn't I say this person was making, ex uh, I said, um, attachment indecision, but didn't I say someone was making a decision? They had to choose. That eight of health, mental health, we was talking about your person. That was what was on the bottom of the Dizek. So they was in their head, you know, trapped in confusion. But look who's underneath that second, the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. I'm going to be tripping with my words because of this Mercury retrograde energy. I already hear myself, you know, fumbling over words. So pardon me, but, um, this is that person that had to make that decision, but look what they're tapping into. The angels are stepping up to help. I told y'all, y'all had a spirit team. There was angels, deities that was helping you. They're giving some sort of blessing, some sort of answered prayer, you know, but they brought a epiphany. They gave someone a download, whatever the confusion they had with what decision, Mama Uriel, this archangel, beautiful angel came in to give this person um, the clarity. And this is the same 13 that opened up the reading, which is four. So this could be a divine masculine that was having some difficulties with their ego. Masculines aren't the only person or individuals who have problems with egos. Females do too. But that four, I was getting empress energy vibes, um, uh, emperor energies and vibes. But I feel like, you know, whoever this is, um, they're following their heart more importantly, you know. Um, they're not using their mind. They're not using logic this time around. They're following their heart, you know, and, and they're trusting, you know, their intuition, you know, and I feel like that's what's leading, um, to this situation. So that's powerful. But what we have here for the person or whatever you're attracting is you have daughter romance. I can't make this up. Y'all you got the daughter romance, 33 pa person from the past. This is someone from your past. It could even be a past life love. This person is coming in to open up your heart chakra. And didn't I say their heart chakra had to be opened as well? Because when you're proud and egotistical, that means you don't, you know, want to be vulnerable because of the fear of getting hurt. That's why people hide behind their pride and their ego, because they have a fear of allowing people in because they fear being hurt. And so they put on a facade and act like I don't care and act like, you know, Billy badass, or 
I'm emotionless, but it's really because of the fear of a lot of being hurt. And perhaps that has a lot to do with something that occurred in their childhood as well, because they have this one that's matching your one, which is the root chakra, which really speaks to trauma, you know, whether childhood, familial. So they've experienced something similar to you, which is why you're mirroring one another energetically all throughout the reading. But this is also showing that this person with the three and the three, that's another energy of mirroring. This is someone from your past. This is someone who has also had to suffer heartache and loss, but who has healed from that. So that three and that three, which gave me the three of swords, it turns into the six, which gives you the six of cups. So whoever that person was from the past that is now returning is because they had an ego death. You also have happy family. So this is what they also feel. <laughs> this is who you are also attracting or what you're attracting. You also have blossoming abundance. So this is going to evolve into something beautiful. This is that happily ever after that person that will be your husband, your wife, someone that you will build with someone supportive, someone that will compromise with you, someone that will build a legacy with you, have that happy house, happy spouse, someone that will be willing to put forth the work, the effort, someone that is committed. And this is going to produce abundance, opulence. This person, you know, and the fact that they're working on themselves, it's only proving, you know, the fact that there is um, intention behind them coming in. And it's because they did the work and realized that they've have, you know, they had some sort of conflict when they were in separation of you. And that conflict was very unsettling to the point that they had to start doing some work on themselves. So they have one, the six is seven. So that's seven and four, that's 11, that's two, two and three, that's five. So they've learned, I'm getting the hierophant. They've learned something and their reward for learning something is perhaps this reunion with you, this fresh start with you, because all of these uh, cards um, reduce to five and that five is the hierophant. So that's sitting at the feet of the elders, going to a pastor, going to a master teacher, talking to your angels, ancestors, and guides, going to, you know, a maternal or paternal figure in the family. But this is really seeking out knowledge and learning, being very meticulous or being very like taking onus you know, this is someone who did the work. Like, you know how hard it is for someone to have an ego death or for someone to even admit they're wrong, especially if they're so used to fighting to be right. That's, this is great work. Like this is great work. So they've been working just as hard, you know, and this is them choosing you. I'm hearing very loud in my mind's eye. I choose you. So this person is choosing you, Scorpio. And we have, um, Erica Badu, orange moon. So you may be picking up on this energy intuitively, you know, and this is a beautiful song. I'm an orange moon reflecting the light of the sun, you know, beautiful song, you know, so this energy is showing like this person has made their decision. And as I said, they're following their heart, they're following their intuition, they're following, you know, what you know, spirit, where spirit is leading them and, and guiding them. And with that orange moon, and remember we have 32 music. So this person could literally be like an Erica Badu fan. They could also be someone who has cancer in their chart because the moon is associated with cancer. This is someone who could be very reserved, even someone who hides their feelings, their emotions, someone who's very, um, you know, just kind of quiet, almost like a hermit themselves. But I just strongly feel like this is someone who's uh, absolutely choosing you, coming towards you. They're making a decision, you know, but they are up in their head strongly about it. You know, they're strongly up in their head, um, but they are sending you some messages telepathically or intuitively. So let's tap in. Why is 32 music nine completion 77 here for how this person Scorpio is attracting to them feel? I have like a gazillion cards that flu, but we're going to pick up this energy. So we have carnucopia. So they see you as someone who is very successful. You're having a lot of abundance, a lot of success, a lot of, you know, um, you know, prosperity and abundance in your life. This is a beautiful energy of like, you know, um, being very, um, financially, uh, literate, stable, secure, 
You know, they may see you as someone who's very abundant. This is someone who's very addicted to you, attracted to you, obsessed even. They could be sitting around watching you. They have a lot of anxiety when it comes to you. This is someone who's definitely like very anxious, very nervous energy. They're up in their head. They're causing their own mental anguish, own trauma. And they're thinking so much that it's literally like driving them insane. Remember what I said about the, the mind being the devil's playground. They, they, they're duping themselves, to be honest. And then we have beautiful, see how the angels are answering? Every time there's confusion or every time there's a need to deal with some sort of negativity, the angel will pop up like who wants what? So the angels are going to bring some truth because this is the sixth chakra, which is the first eye. So this person knows how intuitive you are, but this is someone who's also going to trust their intuition because they're choosing you. Even if they feel confusion, even if they're indecisive as the card just show with the eight, this is the nine. This is self-imposed. You know, maybe they're stressing over how to spark a conversation because I see a lot of lightning bolts. That's also the energy of Mama Oya. You know, so they, they're, they're afraid of, of, of the, 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 the clap back, you know. They're not sure, but they don't know your energy. They do feel strong connection, but they are up in their head, beloved, about what to say, you know, but they are really, truly desiring to communicate, but they're really trapped mentally. You know, this is how they feel. I just feel obsession. I feel, you know, I just really feel a strong sense of like addictions, even like addicted to you, just stalking you, watching you. Let's see what all these cards break down to. So you got five, five, one, two, three, seven, one, one, five. Yep. So this person has learned from you. This is like giving me teaching and learning. This this mirroring all across the board. Your energy is five. Theirs is five. All of their cards add up to five. So this is literally both of you did your due diligence. That's why that 4-4, four, four, the environment card, that green, all plush green, that shows the work. That shows both of y'all have healed from past pains, wounds, traumas. You moved out of that energy of, of being wounded, wounded warriors, and into the energy of healing that self, loving that self, now knowing that self. This person is asserting themselves. They are doing the work to match your vibration all across the board. We got Archangel. Look at this, another angel showing up, third chakra. That's the sun that shines within. Someone braved their light. Someone definitely braved their light and it helped them see their well way through a dark period in their life, a dark time. You know, that's why this completion is here because your angels assisted you. You know, they told you to take your power back. Use your chi. You better start practicing some of these um, ancient um, techniques like Tai Chi and mudras and yogis that connects you to the body to the self meditating you need to tap into those high frequency high vibration um practices and techniques he's literally utilizing that chi energy you know that's where it comes from so this is powerful and they're telling you how you healed also you you healed that self you know by balancing you know um and healing from whatever traumas you've endured we got um, most stuff here, the panties. So this makes you very attracted, uh, attractive, you know, the work that you've been doing, um, the power that you are owning now, the leader that you have, you know, become, it's very attractive. It's always attractive to see someone, um, you know, in their element, you know, really handling business. There's nothing like seeing a fond brother just be a man, you know. I love to see, even in, even though I'm single, when I see a man that has respect for his woman and he opening up a door or he's walking on the right side of the street, you know, closest to the street um, where he's protective of his woman, you know, he, you know, kind of blocks her or covers her from certain things like there's nothing more attractive. Even just seeing a man being a great father, you know, being, a, you know, that, that, that um, role model for their child, for their children, just stepping up to the plate, being a man. There's nothing more attractive than that. And I feel like that's what someone is doing. Like they're definitely stepping up to brave their light. We have most deaf, um, and this is called the panties. So I do feel someone is very attracted to you. Someone is definitely trying to take them man off. <laughs> Some, is the panties is like, you know, 
it's a it's a it's a it's a dope song, you know. But this is somebody that, like I said, they they get a hard on for you. They definitely get hot and bothered. It comes out too much in these readings. They're very passionate. Let's just put it like that. Very passionate. So let's tap in, beloveds. But they see you as very beautiful. They have adoration and they admire you. You know, they see you as someone very strong. And that's attractive to see someone like in their power. So these cards here sticking up like that. I'm going to take those messages. I feel like those are your messages. Um, and we still have Archangel uh, Shamuel here on the bottom of the deck. So I feel strength, courage, and wisdom. This is also a 37, which is one. So powering through, you know, just showing what somebody did, you know, took their power back, you know, by uh, owning their power, standing in their power, braving their light. This is also saying, you know, your your uh, stomach is like your, you know, second brain, even though a lot of people see it as the first. Uh, so trust your gut instinct, which is basically what this card is saying with intuition. So trust what you're feeling, you know, trust those nudges that you get because that's your angels, your guides. You know, you got support system, beloved. You got ancestors that are protecting you. You got angels all over the place. You got angels everywhere. Angels are everywhere, beloved, and archangels right there. Stop playing. Like, you guys don't realize the, the amount of protection around you, beloveds. And they are protecting you from anything that does not serve your highest good. This hostile energy, whether it's coming at you or coming at someone else, your angels are clapping back. You got support. They're bringing in love. They're bringing in manifestation. They're cutting those karmic cords. They're supporting your dreams. They're bringing what you asked for. That's why this four is here. That 49 is the same four vibration we've been seeing throughout the reading. Your heart, they're bringing love into the equation. They're bringing love into the equation. And why? So because you've healed. <laughs> it's because you've grown. It's because you've braved your light. You know, that's why. And there's going to be some people that are going to be very salty. You know, there's going to, they're going to be very salty. Some folks might come back with an attitude, you know. And I also feel like, you know, you may sense your twin flame is coming because you got the yin yang here. And that's the same number as 22. Some of you all may just feel it. You know it. You sense it. You're dreaming about someone or just dreaming about being in a, a partnership, a love ship you know, in a spiritual connection with someone and spirit is saying it's absolutely coming into fruition. Doors to personal healing and happiness. The sun, man, stop playing with me. All of this is on the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful. Like, that's absolutely gorgeous. But let's see what actually came out. And this is for what's hidden in the energy. So we have seventh chakra. So someone does listen to their intuition and that leads them where? To you. This is that someone that is the person from your past, because we got the one in the 41, that's six. So that person from your past, that past love, that person that could be coming back apologizing, coming back with a bouquet of flowers or coming back just very humble, you know, offering an extension of an olive branch. You also have issues hold on. So somebody was going through some personal issues. They had to deal with some personal things, but they're moving away from that with the 46. I mean, with the six here, there's 41 and this 10, that's six. So this person is, you know, moving away from something. I'm getting like the six of swords on top of the six of cups of someone from your past returning. Remember what I said with the, um, um, with that, uh, retrograde energy at the end of the month on 421. So trust your intuition. You could be picking up on a lot of things. We got financial constraints. So someone's working through some sort of financial situations and heartbreak. But this is the karmic cycle they're completing. So someone could have went through a really traumatic period where they didn't have enough money. Money was funny. They was getting their heart broken. They was getting taken advantage of. They was dealing with a lot of loss, pain, you know, emotional loss. It was just a lot of agonizing. But circumstances, but I feel like when they trusted their intuition, you know, they didn't go through anything. They grew through the experience. They realized like, you know, um, I can't think in a lack mentality, regardless of what my situation is looking like, I got to keep on going. And they've wrapped up this cycle because they did some sort of work. It was some sort of work. So we got four, uh, this, uh, six here, and then we have four. So that's one. And the one again, it's all ones across the board, man. It's been one, 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 one. 
So this is giving someone a fresh start. So they literally and figuratively have wrapped up a cycle. They had to learn from past pain. They had to learn from getting their heart broken, whether through the loss, the death, the demise of, you know, their loved ones or through the loss, the death, the demise of a relationship or the loss, the death, the demise of their connections and friendships, maybe even a job. I feel like this is what led to a lot of pain and hurt, but the cycle's ending. The completion is, it's, it's a completion now. The cycle is wrapping up and it's because you did a lot of work, healed thyself, you know? The solar plexus, strength, courage, and wisdom. And they brave their light. Now they're wiser. And that's why they're getting a fresh start. Now there's movement. Now they're going towards whatever it is they desire. And we have this, to me, a leave it smoking. So it's like somebody left a situation and they're bolting the hell up out of there. You know, they're getting the hell out of there. It's like, it's a situation where they're dashing out as quickly as they can. Because they're not, they're not allowing any more time you know, to stay in a situation that's toxic. They feel drained, you know, all their resources could be drained, maybe their savings because they was dealing with somebody that was literally perhaps using them, especially with this devil type of energy here. But let's tap it. Why is this 10 karmic completion, the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, this 13 financial constraints and this nine broken heart here for what's hidden in the energy from my beautiful Scorpio spirit. We have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. That card flew over there. We have on the bottom of the deck. He's still on the bottom of the deck. Still there. So that person makes the decision. Did not say that person, they're going to choose you. So they was literally stuck. And once this karmic cycle ends, they could take action. They're unstuck. They're no longer bound, you know? And that one and that eight is nine. So they really are perhaps in their head, you know, because I'm getting like the, the nine of swords energy, you know, where they could be, you know, kind of like ruminating and pining. Maybe they're looking at the reflection of themselves in the mirror, realizing like, you know, they, they got to take action. They got to move, you know, but this confusion is what's, you know, uh, absolutely, you know, causing a delay is the decision that someone has to make because they're truly uh, stuck at a fork in the road. But Archangel Ariel is going to tell someone to trust what you feel internally, trust that inner wisdom, trust that inner compass because your stomach, like I said, is a second braid. So it absolutely is going to guide you in the right decision in the right direction. And that's literally what, um, it's just veggie back in, you know, this beautiful energy of, uh, Archangel Uriel. So these angels are giving someone that nudge, you know, the divine, intervention to make this decision. And as I said earlier, I heard clear as day, I choose you, you know, I choose you and you know this too, because I feel like you choose them as well with that two and that two, like I said, that's the vibration of the heart chakra, but that's also 11, 11, the twin flame symbol, cosmic companion, the yin yang. We just saw yin yang. So why is intuition here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? I have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is this intuition card here for my beautiful Scorpios? I have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, appreciation. Someone is going to come back appreciating you. Didn't I say something about a bouquet of flowers? I believe I said that. Coming back with a bouquet of flowers to be, a, you know, to show, um, a you know, that they are apologetic. We got this 19 here. You know, this 19 is showing rest and rejuvenation. When you are centered, when you are grounded, balanced, and in alignment, you are able to receive the downloads, divine intervention straight from source. And I feel like that's how someone is, you know, getting back on, um, getting back to themselves. Uh, they're aligning to themselves. That same person, that 19, that pride, that person goes right back to the drawing board to do, you know, what's necessary, you know, which is the healing. And you can see spirit is absolutely clean, clearing, and cleansing their energy, you know, their vibration. This is giving them that reset, that recharge, that rejuvenation that they need, that re, -re. And so this is how they have the ego death. This is because they're being cleansed. You know, this is the purge of ideologies, belief systems, you know, habits, behaviors. This could be your energy. This is how you're now more prone to trusting your intuition because it has led you to nothing but success. 
and we have this adjacent possibilities. So someone is definitely going to take it to source. They're being told to trust their intuition because they're going to have more than one uh, window of opportunity. You know, this is one more than one window of opportunity and door of opportunity. And so someone is going to take it, you know, take it down to meditation. You know, they're going to meditate to get things straight. They're going to contemplate on their next move because they want to make it their best one. And I absolutely feel this is how someone chooses a direction. We got four, one, that's five, five and six, that's 11, that's two. So this is your twin flame. This person's going to come in very humble, very appreciative. They're going to be attentive and affectionate. Now they appreciate you. They see your worth. They see your value. They see all that you've been able to not only go through, but grow through. They see who you've emerged as. You're very powerful, very intelligent. This is someone that definitely chiefs a lot of green, thinks about you, thinks about this connection, thinks about, you know, reuniting with you, reconnecting with you. I'm going to pull some actual tarot cards from the light seers. See what we got coming and going out, going on. And so we got the three of pentacles that damn near fell out of my hand, but we, that showed me and revealed to me the nine of cups. So with this three of pentacles, what I see is someone could have had, you know, still had some, um, some strings attached to another person. Even though maybe when you met this person, there was an instant connection. You see how these two are given eye contacts, but you see how this string is connected to this feminine here. So I feel like this person, this masculine, if this is a female, just reverse the roles. Someone still had string attached, strings attached to another person. And you see how this almost looks like red, light, green, light, like it's like, you know, um, almost like a, a light, um, you know, at the stop light, no, not the stop light. What do you call that traffic light? So it's like, it looks almost like that to me. Um, and it feels like this person, maybe divine timing wasn't correct because someone still had some karmic cords. That's why this karmic completion and completion was here because maybe both of you, you know, still had some karmic cycles that you were wrapping up. And so even though there was a lot of chemistry, there was a lot of synergy, you know, between the two of you, um, you both had to complete cycles in order to come into union. And with this three of pentacles, maybe you met this person at your place of employment, or maybe, as I said, this will be someone um, that comes into your life, the spiritual partner, um, that is going to be a business partner. Um, you're going to start meeting people that are going to be able to add on networking with people that are going to have, uh, you know, some sort of, um, assets, uh, that's going to be, you know, um, what is on me? I feel like something is crawling on me. Excuse me. You know, so I do feel like there's something beautiful coming in and this is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of peace, a lot of happiness. A lot of you all have been loving yourselves. You've been loving yourselves, right? Like you've been treating yourselves, right? Some of you ladies, you've been taking yourselves to get manis and petties. You know, some of you fellas been going and getting them lineups, getting your hair done, you know, done, getting a nice little shape up, you know, just really treating yourselves, getting your beers oiled up, smelling good, looking good out here. You, you're not wearing them old drawers that you was wearing in your relationship. You know, went out and got you some brand new silky boxes. You know, you know I'm talking about like you spent a couple of dollars on your undergarments, but this is just that energy of like self-love is the best love, you know, feeling fully fulfilled. This is even like wish fulfillments coming in. This is good news in regards to business partnerships or business um, endeavors that you are embarking on. You know, maybe even if you're learning something, you're going to succeed. It's just a lot of blessings and love that I'm seeing here. Um, we got, um, who is this? We got Summer Love playing and this is by Black Party. So some of you all could be coming into union with your divine masculine, divine feminine in the summertime. And didn't I say y'all moved away from something? There could have been also a third party circumstance, or there could have been, you know, some, some, some extra heads in the equation and you didn't sign up for that. So you could have relocated. I was picking up on that six of swords energy of moving away, you know, creating space, creating a safe space or a safe haven for yourself, you know, creating boundaries even. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection may have a message. And didn't I say somebody's up in their head? This is somebody resting on a guilty conscience. This is also someone just right, like literally analysis paralysis, overthinking something instead of just communicating. You know, somebody has deep regrets. Maybe somebody's realizing just the connection or something, you know, that they had with you. And then they may feel, you know, um, you know, really confused as to how to approach but we shall see what comes out. Look at that devil. I can't play. Didn't I say the devil is the, the, the mind is the devil's playground. 
This devil always comes up when it comes to like mental health or when I'm speaking of the mind or decisions because they are causing this confusion, this cloudiness. You see how this person is being puppeteered and he's holding his head in agony, much like this feminine. So there is someone that could be in the equation. Maybe somebody's dealing with a karmic and that's why this karmic completion and this karmic card is here because there was a karmic that was definitely like a devil. This is somebody that speak, spoke with a forked tongue. This is somebody that they could have been bound to, stuck to. This is somebody that was absolutely like um, controlling. The devil didn't showed up twice, you know, and both of them are like, you know, very manipulative energies. You know, they got stuff in their hands that they're controlling and manipulating and trying to monopolize the situation. You know, this also could just be someone's own thoughts. You know, they're overly thinking and it's stressing themselves the hell out. My spirit of peace, power, and protection. You get a message of peace, power, and protection. That's why the angels are showing up, I feel, because maybe somebody really, like, they really are, um, you know, really just, like, up in their head so much about the situation. There's something very stressful, and I feel like it just has a lot to do with maybe something they did in the past, or maybe the way they treated you, or something they may have said, but spirit is really pulling out all the stops, you know, to really bring someone, um, you know, the downloads, because you have both Metatron and Uriel, the first and, you know, the first eye and the crown. So they're really giving someone the clarity uh, so that they can see something crystal clear, you know. So someone's pineal gland could have been really blocked. You know, they could have been listening to a lot of nonsense, a lot of negativity that cloud their own, you know, um, vision. You know, they definitely feel like they've missed an opportunity. You can see clearly spirit is handing this, you know, this, this, uh, bowl, this cup, you know, you see that hand and it's offering, but she's off looking into La La Land, not realizing the blessing, not realizing, you know, the, the sacred union, but that just speaks to the divine timing and the necessity to learn these karmic lessons, you know, not being able to identify and resonate with actual real loving connections, you know. And, and, and now somebody sees, see this, somebody is addicted to you, beloved. Good Lord. They are in their head. Somebody definitely feels addicted or obsessed. I see here, this is like new love popping in. You got, you're going to have some options. I feel someone from your past and I feel someone new that spirit is sending in. And this is really just making a play on like, you know, you may be astonished or, you know, in disbelief when this person comes in because there's like a pig flying. And it's like a term, like, yeah, I believe that when I see a pig fly. And so spirit put that, this is like literally they showing a pig flying to show just how in shock that you're going to be when this person just like enters the scene. So divine spirit of love and light, you're going to just take that deep dive. You're just going to go with the flow, beloved. You're going to be like water and go with the flow. That is beautiful. This is a new love. I also feel like you're just going to feel like you could trust them because when I see people falling backwards, that just speaks to you know, the amount of trust that you have, you know, in the divine or into whomever's arms you're falling into, you know, um, backwards, you know, that, that speaks to trust. So you're, you're trusting the process and you know, you're going to land in something sacred because this sacred geometry is showing it's a very special, um, you know, place that you will land. And I feel like this is something that you are manifesting and calling in and spirit is absolutely granting you this beautiful blessing, this beautiful wish. So we got to wrap it up because I see my, my recording, my video is about to um, end. So let me just get these messages really quick. And then we're going to run out. Ah, Shay. And so we have feel away by her. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the 10 of wands. Can't make this up. Walking away. I'm a walking. Yes, indeed. And I'm a talking. <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? Like walking away and walking away way. Like I'm out of here. But I feel this is really just showing again, like, you know, finally relieving yourself from things that are not honoring you. This is like feeling super overwhelmed by situations from your past and you finally realizing your worth and value by just saying, I'm done, done, fit. You know, that's why there's a new fresh start because you have ended a cycle. You've completed a cycle and you've made the decision. Spirit went to see if you were going to make the decision, make that call to, to walk away from something toxic. And that's exactly what you did. Packed up. This could be your energy or someone else, but you've packed up, relocated, moved away and created a whole new reality for yourself. We got the sun here. So someone's having an epiphany. 
someone woke up to the fact that they were acting out of character, you know, that they were, their behavior was unbecoming, you know? And so now with this beautiful sun, this luminous energy, this is speaking to someone finally seeing something for what it truly is, finally having that clarity and finally discovering the love because the door to romance is here along with spiritual partner, along with happy family and blossoming abundance. Like this is a beautiful, um, you could tell someone is manifesting this. You know, you could tell someone is setting intention for all of this because they want emotional fulfillment. They want spiritual fulfillment and they want financial fulfillment. You know, it is beautiful to have all of that. So this energy is really showing that there is some sort of truth, that there is some sort of just, you know, clarity. You know, someone is finally getting out of that fuzziness to see the truth of a situation. So why is this 19 um, pride, 27 spiritual partnerships, 33 daughter, daughter romance, three um, uh, blossoming abundance, and four happy family here for the person or what Scorpios are attracting to them. And we have hanged man. Yep. Somebody sees you in a whole new light. Somebody has had that grand epiphany. Look at the crown chakras activated, beloved. That crown chakra is activated. And this is that person that wants to take that, that deep dive. They want to, they just want to dive in. They want to take that leap of faith. They're trusting the process. They're trusting the process. I feel in the past, the ego they was afraid to be vulnerable. They was afraid to, to really speak their truth, to express their truth, or to even trust the process. But they are absolutely doing that now. This is someone that is absolutely wanting a new start. They're wanting a new beginning with you. And we have feel away. I feel like this person is realizing they feel a certain type of way about you. Or there's something different about the connection with you because they feel a different type of way. And with her, they feel a different type of way about her, which is a divine feminine. Or maybe there's a feminine who feels a different type of way, you know, but there's a, a feeling of, you know, someone really looking at this connection and wanting to, you know, take that leap of faith and build that nucleus, that family, that foundation, and that home, that hearth, because they have seen you now, you know, from a whole different perspective. You know, and I feel like this has a lot to do with spirit, you know, giving them uh, that window of time to kind of reflect, you know, to look at things. And they see you as an empress, you know, that 12 breaks down to three. So they see that you've done the work. They see your worth and value. I feel like this person didn't see it before. And we have um, Bon Ivor, and this is called Creature Fear. So I feel like, you know, that's just speaking to you know, the fear that this person could have been feeling or experiencing and fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real or false, you know, evidence appearing real, or even someone knowing or discovering and realizing they have to face everything and rise, you know, but that beautiful luminous energy is, you know, really much, uh, really like, um, that clarity, you know, it's like spirit giving them that aha. That's like, you know, Archangel Metatron opening up that first eye, you know, decalcifying someone's pineal gland even, but they see you clearly now. They could see you and they see your, you know, your abundance. They see your hard work and your efforts. They see your spirituality, your strength. They see that you're balanced, grounded in alignment. They see that you could be a creative or an artist. They appreciate you. You know, this is someone that genuinely appreciates you. And that's why they are almost like obsessively thinking of you, or they could become addicted to you. They could be watching you obsessively or thinking of you so much that it's, you know, becoming almost like an addiction. But we have 777 here. So you all are absolutely going to come into some sort of blessing, you know, some sort of luck. You know, if you are at your job, I feel like there's something um, that's going to come through for you, you know, with the seven, 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 I feel like your hard work is going to pay off. If you have some sort of devil here, again, I just get a strong sense, like your angels got your back, or maybe you've even learned how to protect yourself from this energy. You know what I'm talking about? But I just feel like this, there's, there's a blessing. There's a, I just feel a miracle. I don't, I don't, I just feel a miracle is coming. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection may have the message for my beautiful Scorpios. Why is this 32 music, nine completion, 77 spirituality, the devil, deceit, carnal copia, 18, 
um, anxiety in this 46 chakra, Archangel Metatron here for how this person, Scorpios are attracting feel about Scorpio, may have a message of peace, power, and protection, thinking about you. This person is constantly thinking about you. This fire, that's just speaking to the intensity of thoughts or the frequency of thoughts, you know, but they're sending you messages telepathically and intuitively as well. And this is someone thinking about, you know, how to have this do over, how to come towards you, how to take action with creature fear. This is what they are afraid of. This is what they're fearing. So the cards that flew out, we got the Knight of Cups. So this is that person want to come back yet again with a bouquet of flowers to rectify something that they've done. And they're coming back very chivalrous. They may take you, you know, and wine and dine you, you know, do something very intimate, like a picnic, you know, purchase you your favorite bouquet of flowers, maybe take you on a horse, you know, and carriage ride through the city. You know, they may prepare a, a, a nice little lunch and just take you to a beautiful park and just sit down, y'all build, chop it up. But whatever the case, they're going to be very intentional and very thoughtful. You know, their, their efforts are going to be very thoughtful. And we have this death. That death showed up in the very beginning because we saw whatever time it was, I can't remember right now, but it did reduce to 13. So this person realizes why you cut them off. If you look closely, it's carrying like this, you know, this, um, what do they call that? A, 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 a axe or some sort of axe, but you chop everything off and out of your life that was not honoring you. And if you look there, the forest, I feel like this person couldn't see, you know, the difference between the forest from the trees. Like they didn't see your worth and value, but now they see you. And when they see you, 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 you've like, you're different, you know, you're, you're powerful, you know, you've had some sort of rebirth. You, you've you emerged someone completely different, which makes you even more attractive, which makes you even more mysterious. You know, we have the three of pentacles. Didn't I say this was someone from the past, you know, that really you had some sort of really dope chemistry. You can see these two kind of like flirting. And because the string is attached to this person on this side, um, I feel like they still had some strings attached to someone else, which is why they could not pursue you. I feel like now they're going to be given the green light um, to come towards you because I feel like now whatever this person needed to get rid of, it's done. You know, maybe you were the one who had baggage um, and you had to uh, cut your free from some, you know, karmic cycles or cut yourself free from some karmic um, circumstances. Uh, but maybe this is just indicative of this person realizing they got cut off because of third party shenanigans or entanglements, um, because that, you know, that, you know, this, um, um, rope or this cord that's connecting them to this other person here, um, is showing like there was still some work that perhaps needed to be done, you know, and that could be why, um, you know, they feel like you cut them off, you know, and that was definitely in their opinion, the demise, you know, everything changed from that moment. That's why they're coming in humble. They're coming in very apologetic, you know, taking ownership. And this is your energy, the queen of cups. If you're masculine, the king of cups, this is your energy. You release this person and focused on healing yourself. I feel like you also gave this situation to the most high. I feel like also, you know, with spirit showing that surrender card, like that's what you did. And that's how you were able to heal. You surrendered to spirit. You stopped trying to control the narrative. And that's how the deep cleansing, the healing took place. And I feel this is also just saying that this person now wants to, you know, rekindle this connection because they couldn't stop thinking about you. They could see themselves building like that nucleus, that family that we could see right here. And they're ready, willing, and able to take that leap of faith to deep dive into this thing because they feel nothing but, you know, this passion, this attraction. They can't stop thinking about you. I feel like you live in this person's head. You know, it's like your name floats around in their head like a song, you know, like a tune, you know, and, and, and I feel like, you know, they're just, their indecision is coming because they're really kind of intimidated with how they assume you're going to respond or how you uh, may re react to them, you know, because maybe this person is, 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 a, is, is a aware of, you know, perhaps the pain, you know, that you've endured and that, you know, you've gone through some really tough cycles financially. Maybe they inflicted this upon you by just abandoning you or, you know, leaving you out in the cold. 
Um, if this is someone returning from your past, it could possibly be like, you know, that ex-husband or that ex-boyfriend. But I feel spirit is telling you, re-emphasizing, uh, you know, trust your intuition, you know, Scorpio, use your own inner wisdom, Scorpio, uh, definitely trust your inner compass, Scorpio, because if someone is coming from the past, especially in this Mercury retrograde energy, doesn't mean they stay in for a long time. It also means with this adjacent possibility, you're going to have options out here, beloved. So, you know, it's about choosing what's best for you. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. Let's get the last two messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. There goes your message right there. I didn't even get the full words out, but we have justice. So karmic cycles, ending, completing, definitely everything's handling, being handled fairly and justly. I feel like this is why karmic completion is here because Mama Ma Ad is pleased. The debt has been paid. Now there's forward movement. So if someone is indecisive, indecisive, I feel they're going to get the clarity. You know, they're going to receive that clarity. I also feel someone wants to bring harmony, bring peace, bring justice to a situation. They're seeking justice in this situation. Maybe you sought justice and you received it because someone has experienced, you know, um, you know, some sort of instant karma. But I do feel like, you know, things are absolutely working out in your favor. And I feel this person is looking back in awareness, you know, realizing um, their wrongdoing. Someone's learned some lessons here. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is the 22 intuition, 19, um, what is that? Rest and rejuvenate and adjacent possibilities here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. We have a message of peace, power, and protection. I have a message of peace, power, and protection for this outcome message for my beautiful Scorpio's spirit. Thank you, spirit. All right. And you have two messages. Oh, three. Oh, I like that. And so we have three of wands. So somebody's strategizing. Somebody's definitely strategizing, planning, preparing, and trust. You already know what's coming. You know, you're already sitting here waiting for what's to come. You know, some your ships are docking. You know that something's manifesting, something's materializing, you know. You've already learned how to trust your own intuition as well, because you've already been doing that due diligence of meditating, doing yoga. Like I said, connecting with the body, connecting with the self, you know, is, is going to only strengthen your power, strengthen your abilities. We have this eight of swords. So this actually flew out in reverse. So I feel like whoever that person is that is agonizing, see that mirrored reflection, but then you look at this person. So this is like, you know, stuck in two minds. This also could allude to somebody um, having some sort of, uh, you know, uh, black magic, dark magic, some root work done on them. Someone keeping them um, bound. Someone's doing mirror magic. You know, this is also like saying somebody could be doing something during witching hours. Uh, see this? Three of Swords. All of these flew in reverse. But um, that Three of Swords, this is what someone is going through. But see the cleansing? This is the deep cleansing. So this is the rest and the rejuvenation. So someone has already experienced this because that's what we saw here. So they are absolutely, you know, going to, you know, leave a situation, you know, leave a rocky situation with that six. I'm getting six of swords yet again with adjacent possibilities, knowing that you can go and create a safe space or there's a need and a necessity to protect your peace. We have this for the emperor. So someone comes out of this situation from literally being mentally conflicted, anxious, ruminating, pining to like, you know, checkmate in the whole situation because they take power back. You know, the Aries rules the head. So whatever that devil was doing to manipulate, the Aries is very confident. The Aries is also very powerful. So someone took control of their own subconscious thoughts. Someone owned their power. Someone realized like, I got to tap into my divinity as a divine feminine, divinity as a divine masculine. This is also that four that we saw when we opened up the reading, that emperor who was very powerful, who is very much a manifester, a master manifester. He is a mogul. He is an entrepreneur. She is a mogul. She is an entrepreneur. If that's a feminine energy, but this is also just saying like, you know, go with the flow, do what feels right in your spirit, move to the beat of your drum, own your power. You could also feel you know, something coming, something's a brewing. There's a blessing coming. I'm going to get one more message and then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, Shay, thank you, spirit. That was fast. It gave me two. See that? Someone's choosing. They get out of the space of being indecisive and you see how she's no longer 
you know, stuck at a fork because she put that wand behind her. So that's like making a decision because now she's holding on to this one. And that car is very indicative of movement. So moving out of this confusion, just like I said, you know, justice is going to be justice in this situation. And I feel like justice is like someone paid their karmic debts because there were some karmic debts that were accrued, you know, by this person who was, you know, very egotistical. And look at this tower. The tower is very um, telling that change is here. You know, this is the death of the old, the birthing of a new. A tower is beautiful because it literally is, is purifying a situation. I feel like conversations, communication is going to bring, you know, a major breakthrough. But I also see with this three of wands flying out, it's just showing that something is coming. And with this fire, you see this flames, you know, that fire, that flame, it could be a fire sign, especially with the emperor, you know, jumping out, but it could just also speak to, um, you know, you have some sort of burning desire or you can feel something kind of erupting within you. Something's coming. Your intuition uh, is what you're going to be trusting and what you should be trusting at this time, beloved. So this is your reading. I'm going to end it there because I do not want this recording to get uh, interrupted by my battery dying. But I really, truly hope that this message resonated. I, I, I really, I can't control the messages that come out. I just asked spirit to, you know, enter the reading. I asked him to give us a reading outside of love, but it just really feels like love is just in the air for Scorpios. And I feel like maybe this is your season because we did have that song season. So that love could be your season. Um, but this is a beautiful message yet again. Um, I do see karmic justice completions, somebody that you are matching. Um, you both are matching one another's fly and vibration. Both have learned a lot of lessons and you both have a profound sense of love of self. And this person is really trying to align themselves with you. Um, but I feel like they're up in their head about it. Uh, really, you know, ruminating and pining over the how, over the strategy. Uh, but I do feel like they are going to uh, take action and they will come in very chivalrous, you know, very uh, dapper, very debonair. If this is a feminine, she may, you know, just show interest by being thoughtful um, and, you know, maybe just creating the space where you all could have uh, that dialogue that is long overdue. Um, but I'm seeing the Empress literally, uh, she was literally peeking out at me um, as I looked down at the deck. Uh, and she was just, it, the cards were like this and I saw her peeking out. So I do feel like someone feels like you're their earth, you know, like they, they just, they love you. They want to plant seeds, roots, a nucleus, build, grow family, a legacy, like somebody that definitely sees you as the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin. You got this emperor sitting here and he's looking right at this divine feminine, like yeesh. You know, and we did mention that Empress energy, the, the suit, you know, so you both are matching one another's fry, fly vibration. You could have, you know, like I said, you know, relocated if you're feminine energy and you're just in a very creative energy, birthing new life, new ideas, new ways of thinking, um, new projects. And this person's admiring you from a distance and they're ready to come in and checkmate you. They're ready to come in and, you know, um, they're coming into, uh, crown you queen, you know, crown you their goddess, their empress. This is someone who definitely believes in family. This masculine is rocking an ankh. And if you know, in my personal deck, I have the ankh, which is the symbol of life. It's the trinity. It represents man, woman, and child. So this person could see themselves planting a seed in your womb, birthing life, creating family. This is that person, that same divine masculine. Remember I mentioned four. This fell under the person that you're attracting. So this is what this person can envision. They can envision all of that with you. And if this is divine feminine, same thing is applicable. Just reverse the roles. This could be your energy or someone else's energy, but I really truly feel like this is why this person has love on the brain. This is someone from your past. And I feel this person means what they say. When they come in and say, I love you, they truly mean it because the cards have been showing it. But I also feel like you got somebody that could also be low vibrational, an ex or a karmic or somebody that just could be coming in um, just to play games, toy with your emotions. Because I did see that hostilities card earlier. So they could just be coming in just to like aggravate the hell out of you. You know how people, when they ain't getting enough attention, you know, they just do the most to get it because they're attention whore. That's what I'm picking up as well. So just be mindful of what you are, uh, you know, where, where you're paying your attention because attention is, um, 
wherever, wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So the more you feed this person the attention that they are craving, the, the bigger their ego gets. Or maybe that's why somebody had an ego death because this is what you used to do. You used to give them a lot of attention until you stopped one day. But somebody had an ego death. But someone definitely sees you as wifey material, as hubby material, as you know their divine counterpart or soulmate. But this is beautiful and they come in. Hey, they coming for you, beloved. They coming. They already, they already got the coordinates. They got the plan mapped out. You can see the globe. You can see the car there. They already got the map ready. They ready. They ready to rock and roll. They can see a life with you. You know, they can see a future with you because this is looking towards the future. They're not thinking about the past. They're not thinking about whoever they had those strings, you know, attached to. They're not thinking about that. Even if you look at the depiction on this card, the three of swords, Whoever they had those strings attached to, that's who caused them the most hurt, the most pain, the agony. But they had to work through that. That's also who had them under an illusion. That's why they were indecisive. They didn't know what to do, you know. But now they have the clarity they need because they're going to trust their intuition. And they're going to follow, you know, their passion, with that fire, that flame. You you ignite something within this person. But this is your reading, beloveds. I thank you so much for tuning in. It's happening until next time. Send a big fat awash. Please be kind. Hit the like button, the bell notification, and the subscribe button. Grow the soul tribe and the soul family. Show love. Please rotate the love. I rotate it to you. That's why I take my time to get the readings right, beloved. I like to give y'all clear, concise messages. Um, absolutely, undubitably, check out my Etsy shop. I got some dope products. I got to, you know, I got to pop my own collar because the sister puts intention and time into everything. Every tree you see on there, every crystal you see on them trees, I did that. Uh, so my hard work, my effort, um, I put time and energy and I just, I would really love for you all to just, you know, go peruse, go see if there's something on there for you. I have a little bit of everything, a little Palo Santo, sage if you need it. Um, but check that out. Definitely uh, book a session with me if you feel, you know, that your energy vibes with mine and you are seeking some more uh, personal, um, you know, um, consultation. You can check out my website. That too can be found in the link below. Uh, that's enough. I'm going to end it there. To all of my beloveds who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I appreciate you all. Thank you all. Until next time. Peace.